Welcome to this tip and trick on bolted connections. Um, our bolted connection lives um, on our design tab at the top over here. And the idea of it is if I click on bolted connection, much like our hold tool, I can specify the type I'd like to place. So I'm going to use linear and it relies on a little bit of geometry. So it asks for a start plane, our first linear edge, which I'm going to specify at 50. Our second linear edge over here, I'm going to specify 35 and a termination. So where are we actually bolting through to? Notice it's drilled a hole through both of these components. And if I now click to add a fastener, it loads up bolts from our content center. Obviously, you can go and choose what um, standard you want to use. In this instance, we're going to use DIN. I'm going to go and choose a bolt there. It puts in the bolt for me, and it gives me a little preview over here. Systems intelligence, so it knows straight after a bolt, I need a washer. So it'll go into the content center and grab a washer for me. I'm just going to grab that one over there. OK. On the other side of the hole, if I click to add a fastener, it knows again I need a washer. We're going to get the same one. Notice that we've got an M8 by 95 length bolt over here. If I click to add a fastener again, after the, after the washer, it knows that I need a nut. So we're going to choose a nut that we would like to use. Um, let's grab that one over there. Okay. As I do that, it actually lengthens the bolt for me. So it now tells me it's an M8 by 100. You've got full control over this, so you could actually drag the bolt out or make it longer or shorter, but obviously the suggested M8 by 100 is probably the way to go. And if we're happy with that, we can choose to save this as a favorite as well. So I'm going to click on Add over here, and we're going to call this Bench Bolts. I'm going to save that as a favorite. I'm going to say OK, and we'll stick this in. Right, it's now going to generate a bolted connection for me. Okay, so there's my bolted connection, straight through the wooden components. It's its own little subassembly. Um, and now if I want to place another one, so if I wanted to use the same information again in another design or in this design, I could just say bolted connection, uh, start plane, first reference is going to be 50, my second over here is going to be 35, uh, my termination plane's over there, and I can now just click on bench bolts and say set and OK. And in they go. Job done. Thanks for having a look.